Hi and welcome, I'm Nadine Peart. I'm a coach for smart, savvy women looking for sexy, united love. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to give a man space so that he misses you. Let's face it, we all love to feel missed, adored and cherished. And when we're not feeling so loved or prioritized or important with our man, a lot of women tend to then become more possessive in some ways, more present, more eager to see him and can tend to sometimes smother and crowd a man and not want to forego spending time with him because they fear that they won't get the attention and affection they need to feel safe and secure in the relationship. And because of this, there are plenty of women who don't give the man they want the space that they need to feel like they want to reach out to you more, to be with you more, to miss you and to yearn for you. But the thing is, is also you might be in a really beautiful relationship where both of you just love spending time with each other. You both probably neglect your family and friends a little bit. And even though you love spending time together, even though you're almost joined at the hip and it doesn't feel like too much, there's a part of you that deep down knows that you're neglecting certain aspects of your life. You may be neglecting your friendships, your family, personal hobbies and interests. And because of this, there's that niggling feeling in your relationship that you're not actually fully engaged in your own life. You may even have a little bit of resentment building and maybe he does too because deep down he might feel the same. He's not honoring himself. He feels a bit smothered and so therefore maybe the relationship's getting a bit boring, it's a bit too predictable and the spark is starting to go. And so it can be a few different situations here that can create that need for space so that someone misses you so that you can reconnect and build a deeper, stronger bond. So how do you create this sense of space and freedom to get that guy to miss you? How do you do that when you just love spending time with him and you're so scared that if you don't spend time together that he may not be as interested, he may not fight for you or want to spend as much time with you in the future. You may be worried that he'll just lose interest altogether. Well, first of all, let's spin this topic on its head and I want to ask you, do you miss yourself? Are you missing who you are? Because when you are so focused on the relationship, when you're giving your entire self to it and you're neglecting yourself, there's a part of you that misses you, that misses your authentic, empowered, fun, playful self that goes out and does different things, that is engaged in her life in multiple different levels, in different ways, from exercise to arts and crafts, to studying something new, to seeing friends as I mentioned before, like whatever it is, we know when we're missing the core of who we are. We know when we're disengaged from that. So what I want you to know is that when we aren't honoring ourselves in that way, the relationship falls apart. So I'll say that again, a relationship needs space, to thrive. And the next point, which is even more important, is you need space to thrive. You need to work on you, engage with yourself, honor yourself, invest in yourself to thrive because you can't thrive in the relationship when you're personally not thriving. So rather than you giving a man space, actually once again, turn it around and think about what you need because when you focus on what you really need, and you focus on giving that to yourself, then you're actually giving back to the relationship in ways you could never imagine. That's just a byproduct of you honoring you. Now, of course, if you're in a relationship with someone who isn't spending a lot of time with you, who's always busy, who is making excuses why they can't see you, and even when you do see them, you don't feel honored or prioritized or particularly loved and appreciated, then that's another topic. This is not a place for you to then give them more space necessarily. You may need to A, ask yourself, do I give this person enough space? 
first of all. And if you do, then the question is, is this person able to love you the way you want? And once again, that's a different video. But for this video, I just want you to have the courage and the confidence to allow space in the relationship for yourself and then for the relationship to thrive. To support you with this, I have a free gift called five easy ways to get a man to commit and stay committed. And there are some very specific points in that gift that are going to help you to really know exactly how to bond with your man, how to create that space in a way that allows the relationship to thrive like you want it to. Also, my program Never Lose Him has this method called the LIPS method that is so powerful. The LIPS method really represents the yin and the yang of desire and attraction, the balance between giving and receiving to your partner, giving and receiving to yourself. And this dance and this, this way of living and way of showing up with a man is absolutely gold. So please check out Never Lose Him. The link is right below in the description. It's a game changer. It's been an absolute honor to have you here with me. I hope this video has supported you to really understand why it's so important to allow space in a relationship. Please comment below. I'd love to hear about your experience with this topic. Also, please share it with a friend who you know tends to really hold on tight when it comes to men and not allow that space to actually be there to create an actual bond with a man. Please find me at Instagram at Nadine Piet. So every day, express a little bit more love towards yourself, towards others, friends, family, your partner, whatever that may be. Express your vulnerability a little bit more every day in some way so that you can build connections and bond. Once again, it's been an honor and I'll see you again at my next hot topic. Thank you.